Hi folks, this is Gabe with Security Baron, and honestly, I'm a little sad because this is the last Canary camera for me to review, the Canary View. Today, we're gonna to get a well-rounded perspective on the Canary View, checking out its 1080p high-definition video, artificial intelligence capabilities, before putting it to the Security Baron necessary features test, and finally delving into its mobile application to make sure you have all the information you need to make the right decision. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security cameras, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Cameras. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Let's put the Canary View to the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. Here at Security Baron, we think that every home security camera should have stellar video quality, two-way audio, night vision, local and cloud storage, smart platform integration, artificial intelligence, convenience, and value. Stellar video quality is a security baron necessary feature. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means we expect to see at least 1080p high definition video. And fortunately for us, the Canary View comes through. It's crisp, clear, you can see everything that's going on. On top of that, we like to see at least 120 degree build of view. And here again, the Canary View exceeds what we expect. It has 147 degrees of view, so it's really gonna capture everything taking place uh, in your room or wherever you decide to place it. Finally, it actually does well with this digital zoom, allowing you to zoom up to three times. So if you capture something that you really wanna see uh, during a live stream or recording, you can just pinch your fingers and really zoom in on that particular area that you want to see. So when it comes to stellar video quality for the Canary View, we're giving it full marks. Two-way audio is a security brand necessary feature. Fortunately, the Canary View does have the capacity for two-way audio. You'll be able to listen to what's taking place in a room and talk to whoever is in that same room. Now, one thing we wanna note is that this is a premium feature for the Canary View, so you will be paying for it. That being said, we still give it full marks for two-way audio. Night vision is a security baron necessary feature because you know what we say, your security brain with no regard to science whatsoever, half of every day is night. So it's important that your shot in the dark is actually successful. Now with the Canary View, that is the case because it has 12 infrared LED lights that allow you to capture with that 1080p high definition video, crisp, clear images and video of what is taking place. Um, even in the dark. So we're big fans of the 12 infrared LEDs on the Canary View, and we give its night vision full marks. A security brand necessary feature is local and cloud storage. We'd like for you to be able to hold onto all of your information right here in the device itself, along with throwing it up into the cloud. Now, with the Canary View, you do not get any local storage option. No micro SD card, no place to plug in a hard drive, but you do get one free day of cloud storage and you can get 30 days for $9.99. So when it comes to local and cloud storage on the Canary View, we give it half marks. Smart platform integration is one of the more fun security baron necessary features. With smart platform integration like Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, you can use your voice or your mobile device to control elements of your home security camera. Fortunately, with the Canary View, you can use Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa to control the device. So when it comes to the security baron necessary feature of smart platform integration, we give the Canary View full marks. Artificial intelligence is a security baron necessary feature. Now, artificial intelligence is useful in cases like person detection, where a camera can actually distinguish between a person and a dog. Fortunately, the Canary View does have person detection. So it'll make sure that it only notifies you if it detects an actual person inside of your home. So Rover won't be able to actually uh, set off this camera and won't send you a million notifications uh, with this running around all day. So artificial intelligence and the security brain necessary features test lets us give Canary View full marks. Convenience is a security brand necessary feature. And convenience refers not only to the installation process, but the everyday usage of the device itself. Fortunately, the Canary View is pretty convenient. You'll begin by taking it out of the box, 
plugging it in and making sure you have that mobile application downloaded. Now, once you have the mobile application, you're just gonna add device and you'll put two fingers on the top of the canary view. Then you'll have a blue light start to flash here and it's ready to sync. So once you begin that syncing process, it'll walk you through each element and you will basically be ready to go. Now, one thing to note is at the very beginning, you're gonna to have to upgrade uh, the software and the firmware and that can take a few moments and you wanna make sure you stay on the app page during this process. Uh, I was impatient and moved away and basically it quit the download uh, process and I had to remove the device and do it again. Overall, it still took me fewer than 20 minutes to have the entire thing set up, but I just wanted to mention that. On top of that, once you begin using it, it's super intuitive on the mobile application. Uh, you immediately know what to do and how to do it. Of course, easy for me maybe because I am familiar with the Canary app, but I even feel that a newbie, a beginner can jump in and know exactly how to get the most out of their Canary view. So when it comes to the security barrier necessary features test and convenience, I'm giving the Canary View full marks. Value is a security barrier necessary feature and the Canary View comes in at under $100. But while it's on the lower end when it comes to prices, it's on the higher end when it comes to features. We're talking 147 degree field of view, person detection, and that classic New York style. It is metal uh, around here and it's just a really nice design and it feels harder than many of the other cameras at this same price point. Now it comes with all these features but I will note one thing. If you want something as common as two-way audio, you're going to have to pay for that Canary membership. Now the Canary membership is $99 a year or $9.99 a month. Now with that you get that two-way audio. You also get 30 days cloud storage for up to five devices. So you're definitely getting a lot out of the deal, but it is another thing to pay for. If you want a full breakdown of the details on the Canary membership, check out our written review at securitybaron.com. However, despite that element of having to pay a monthly fee to unlock everything, we still feel that right out of the box, the Canary View has a really solid feature set. And for that, we give it full marks for value. All right, hold on, quick break. I hope you're enjoying today's review of the Canary View home security camera. If you'd like to be kept up to date on the newest in smart home security cameras, smart home security systems, smart home everything, subscribe to our channel. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've put the Canary View through the rigors of the security brand necessary features test, let's check out its mobile application. Now you want your mobile application experience to be smooth, intuitive, and consistent. Unfortunately, that's not how people feel about the Canary View mobile application. In fact, the Canary only has a 2.5 out of five stars in the Apple App Store and a 2.8 out of five stars in the Google Play Store. Um, these are pretty terrible scores, to be honest with you. Um, and the reviews that we've read have people saying that the app is somewhat difficult to use and it wasn't clear what they had to pay for with the Canary membership and what they could do for free. Um, and that seems to have created a lot of ire uh, when it comes to app ratings. So let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 10. Here I am checking out the Canary View on my iPhone 10. So if you know, uh, right from the beginning, you've got that uh, watch uh, live option. On the bottom left, you have siren. In the middle, you have talk for that two-way audio. And on the right, you have emergency call. Now, one thing I want to note is that if I were to swipe, um, if you look at the very top, you have three options. That's because I have the Canary All-in-One, the Canary Flex, and the Canary View all here. So if I swipe back and forth, I can go in between those views. Now let's get out of here for a second. If you look at the bottom, you have view timeline. So if I click that, uh, we've got Baron Lab is back online. That was my, that's my, the name of my Canary Flex. Um, you know, this is when you can tell when I arrived. It says Gabe arrived at Casa Baron, so it knows uh, when I'm in and out. Person spotted in away mode, so whenever people come in and out, uh, I'll note it. If I wanted to review that, I could see it here. Person spotted. Now you see what's going on. Who was that? Who was here? Um, and then you can, of course, bookmark various events. But it's pretty much how it works when you're looking 
at the Baron view. Um, you can set things up so that uh, you're on away mode or night mode by clicking on the bottom left where that home is. Uh, you can, of course, dispatch emergency services at the touch of the safety button powered by noon light. But generally, that's it. It's a pretty straightforward app. Uh, you do need to know, of course, what you need to pay for and what you don't. For example, that two-way audio um, is something that you're gonna have to pay for separately if you wanna use that uh, talk. If you wanna have cloud storage options, you're also gonna have to pay for that. And you can see from our timeline, we have paid for those cloud storage options. But those are just things to keep in mind when you're looking at the Canary View. So that's my look at the Canary View's mobile application. Here I am checking out the 1080p 147 degree field of view on the Canary View. Uh, pretty great daytime video quality. You'll note I can pinch and zoom. I can do a little globe test. And of course this all looks pretty crisp partially because I'm pretty close at five to six feet away, but just generally speaking, we do like the vision on the Canary. Um, you can see everything pretty well. You can see the contrast. Uh, it's very wide view. It's gonna capture anything taking place in this room. So overall, the Canary view has a really solid uh, daytime vision. So this is what you get with 12 infrared LEDs on the Canary View. You'll know I'm about five or six feet away and you get a pretty good look at what's happening in this room. Uh, now, if I were to go ahead and do a little night vision globe test, you'll see that it picks up pretty well. Um, you got South America there. Uh, you can see my face pretty well, just pinching in and out with that digital zoom. So here you are, you see that you can get some contrast here with the cameras being white behind me on a white background. You can still kind of see what's happening there. And just ultimately, the Canary View has a pretty solid night vision with its 12 infrared LEDs. Let's recap how the Canary View performed on the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. Stellar video quality, full marks. The Canary View has 1080p high definition video and a 147 degree field of view. Two-way audio, full marks. The Canary View allows you to speak and listen to anyone in a room. Night vision, full marks. The Canary View has 12 infrared LED lights, so you're gonna capture anything going on in a room in crisp, clear vision. Local and cloud storage, half marks. While the Canary View does include cloud storage, it does not have the capacity for local storage. Smart platform integration, full marks. The Canary View integrates with both Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Artificial intelligence, full marks. The Canary View has person detection to help you cut down the number of notifications you receive each day. Convenience, full marks. The Canary View is both easy to set up and easy to use. Value, full marks. The Canary View comes in at under $100, but has a host of impressive features. All right, we've reached the end of our review and you want my outlook on the Canary View. And I'll say this, if you're looking for a camera under $100 that has fantastic video quality, AI capabilities like person detection and smart platform integrations, then look no further because the Canary View is right for you. But if you're someone who doesn't wanna pay a recurring monthly or annual payment just to have something as simple as two-way audio or 30 days of cloud storage, then you're gonna to wanna to check out a different camera. Personally, in my opinion, I'm actually a fan of the Canary View. I think it's a solid choice for a home security camera. So that concludes our review of the Canary View home security camera. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe with Security Baron. Be secure.